Papillon Télé, épisode 41. So, I left you yesterday with that site. And I forgot entirely to tell you what kind of moth it is. This is called a burnet moth. Found that very, very easily in most fields, as long as there is tall weeds. As I told you, you find them about like uh, the hip level. Okay, so a meter, a meter and 20 centimeters above the ground. And uh, look at that here. You have the chrysalis cocoon I've shown you yesterday and you have the beast next to it. But the purpose of this episode of Papillon Télé is what I have in a box next to it. Don't worry, that is not going to be fed to that beast. Yep, yesterday I went for a little walk about uh, 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening, you know me, and... uh, I came across this little fella who was trying to cross the pavement. So I picked it up, put it in the plastic bottle I had uh, with me, put a bit of rainwater in it, and now he's going to spend a couple of days probably with us in a big, 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 big crate. Plenty of stones. We're going to feed him with uh, flies, but mainly uh, worms, because we have a couple of uh, compost bins Uh, in our garden and inside after we're going to stir a little bit the compost we're going to find easily some worms so as you can see our friend is a toad okay it's not a froglet i thought it was a froglet but it was dark yesterday but that's toad okay uh good health i think this is a male okay by the looks of it uh when i walked i saw Three of them, it was one of them, was the smallest one. I thought it, I thought it was like a, a kind of spoon, you know, a little one. But uh, after doing a bit of research, I have noticed that uh, the female is two or, three si- uh, two or three times the size of, this, uh, of the male. So it could, be well, it could well be a, a male, because next to it, when uh, I was walking, I saw, uh, I don't know if it was the family, but, you know, it was him. And it was like two big, big, big ones, at least three or four times the size of this one. So I'll introduce you uh, our toad for next couple of days. And after we're going to return it exactly to the same place I found, uh, I found him, or at least somewhere where there is a pond. But uh, remember, if you are taking wildlife... It's much better to release them to the same environment. So the burnet moth we have, you know, is going to go back to the same field, hopefully the same area, okay, where we found him. And uh, this little fella, which I've called Kermit, because obviously of the Muppet Show, Kermit will go back to the same area I found him in a couple of days after we just do a bit of observations with him. Right, so that's the end of uh, Papillon Télé, épisode 40. Bonne nuit, Papillon de nuit.